Hello, my name is Sergeant Marker. What you're about to see is a look behind the scenes of Wellington Paranormal, a documentary series about the first paranormal unit of the Wellington Police. Enjoy. All right. I have loved working with my prosthetic whanau. I have never worked so closely in a very fast moving project where we've had to collaborate together, help each other, support each other, and we continued that through to the end, and I feel very, very grateful. Mm. Oh, my buddy. The, yeah, the rapid pace of the show dictated that we move very fast and had to think on our feet a lot, which Jermaine and Taika tend to um, propagate, and you often make something out of nothing, mm. and that's usually the best things. Mm. Something off for you to table. <laughs> Uh, the first episode we had uh, alien plants, so we developed three alien plants, so we drew upon elements of E.T., Daleks, and give it that flavour of a low-budget sci-fi nod. We had demons. Demons, um, how many demons did we have? Um, we had girl demon, we had the dog demon, we had a dog as a demon. We had dad demon, that was Paul Yates, our producer. We had mum demon. Bearded demon. Yes, all we did, we had tramp, Ralph, the tramp, 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 tramp demon, yes. And they were particularly uh, thrilling to do on Cuba Street with the bucket fountain. Had eyes, teeth, pulsating veins. What else do we have? We had... Um, werewolves. Werewolves. We had werewolves back. She-wolves. Anna Scotley, she was amazing. She was our she-wolf. So she transitioned from human into werewolf and it was lovely working with Don with this character because makeup was very much a part of her humanised state and changing into her werewolf state. Alexander the Vampire, who's a relative of um, Peter from What We Do in the Shadows. So again, he had teeth and eyes and he had a wonderful costume that evoked Nosferatu. And then we had Corey returning as Nick the Vampire, which was really great to have him back and see him in vampire mode again. 70s ghost party. That was a biggie. It was great because, of course, it was all 70s characters. And I love doing period. And, of course, for me, doing hair and makeup, I feel what really sells a period is the hairstyles. So there was a lot of wig work, which was a lot of fun. We had Cheese Face. We had Cheese Face. We had a man die. Death by Fondue. Death by Fondue, complete with Fondue Forks that evoked Pinhead from Hellraiser, um, which was a great thing to develop. It is like a, a melting cheese, incredible melting man type style character. We did Creepy Clowns, so we had 11 full noise Creepy Clowns to design and develop, and that was huge work for all of us. And then last week, it seemed the last day. So we had a vampire episode with clowns in it. And of course with the zombies, Don did a great job. Of course they all had eyes and teeth and melted faces, so to speak. Zombified. Zombified. And it was great to see them walking the streets of Wellington and um, the public's reactions to our zombie cops. Yes. Tremendous. Oh, we can't forget our cops, the Karen and Mike and Maka, because they, to me, are my favourites, to be fair. Beautiful people to work with and always so respectful and funny. Can I mention funny? <laughs> um, yeah, so we can't forget our cops. They've been amazing.